to Gunas for wrist shot. It goes high. I was missing the target with some offerings here, period number one. Gunas standing over a fallen Palmieri, and an interference penalty is called. And anytime there's a fallen player in Radko Gudis around, everybody's going to pay close attention to the hit. We'll get another look. But there was no signal for a penalty for seconds after this collision yeah. happened, right? Bill, I never saw anything go either. I didn't see it live, but we'll get another look at I'll it here. Look, yeah. Kogudis looked like he was trying to jump out of the way. Oh, oh, yeah, got, yeah, a little melee yeah. here. All for a check. All wrapped up. Wayne Simmons is in the middle of it. Andy Green, who had his first yeah. NHL fight last month. Brandon Severson. Manning. Manning and Severson appear to be the guys who will actually drop the gloves and go. And Manning's second fight in as many nights. Roundhouse right by Severson went over the top. And Manning ends up on top, but no punches really landed. Brandon Manning could have thrown a punch once Severson went down. I think Severson just thanked him there for not doing it. There is honor amongst the tough guys. What Brandon a Manning, man, yeah. he's got courage. He's got some blood on his visor. I assume that's from either uh, the visor coming down on him. But nonetheless, guys, they, uh, the Devils were not happy with the hit. To me, Billy, it looked like Gudis was just trying to get back to the point. Paul Mary was in his way. Yep. You know, here it is. Well, Look. Wayne Simmons is involved in this to a degree, too. Wayne Simmons was crossing in front of Gudis. He didn't need to leave his feet. This thing turned out to be worse than it needed to be. Yeah, there was no malicious intent there. He was just trying to get back to the point. I mean, that's what a defenseman's going to do when you go on. All the that being said, he has a reputation. He also yep. has a record. And he was in the air when he hit an opposing player. It's going to be looked at. Sure. And I can almost tell you that if a ref didn't see it live because Radko Gudis is involved, he'd probably err on the side of convicting Radko Gudis without much evidence. Palmieri was kind of hidden in behind yeah. Wayne Simmons. I mean, I, I, I don't know, though, how Radko thought he was going to avoid him. He yeah. wasn't going to hurdle him, was he? I'm, All I'm the with, way over him? I'm with you on this one, Billy. I mean, I, I just felt like he was, you know, I've been there. You get down, and then all of a sudden you see the play break it back, and you're thinking, how do I get back to the point as quick as possible? It looked like Palmieri just happened to be in the way, and he was trying to jump to the inside to get by him. Totally agree with you guys, but when, I know. when you have two suspensions in recent times, it's going to be looked at. I think we're all agreeing. Yeah. Palmieri is also injured as he goes up to shoot. Maybe that, concussion protocol that plays, to the wire room. Yeah, that plays into it as well. So... Plenty of news, and now we have another fight. Radko Gunas has to answer the bell here. Takes a couple rights, is firing away at him. He's Travis Sajak, but now Gunas comes back with an uppercut. Gunas getting his right hand for another uppercut as they jostle around. Now Gunas trying to switch hands. They both go to the ice, and while they're on the ice, Sajak takes a shot, which is against the code, but I think the Devils are a little upset with the hit from Gunas, so clearly they don't see it the same way we did. No, nope, not the same level of dedication to the code from Travis Sajak as we saw from Brandon Manning. And this was Sajak calling Gudis out. How did we get here in case you just tuned in? Right here, about five minutes ago, Kyle Palmieri was coming into the, into, back into his own zone. Gudis was trying to get out of the zone. Palmieri, by the way, did not return to the game. He got up and he went back up the tunnel. And then the Zajac responding to this, one of their leaders and veteran guys. So the ornery Metro Division games. It's a good job there by Zajac and by Gudis taking on that fight. Well, you get teams that have seen each other now three times in less than a month. And uh, as they say, familiarity breeds contempt. Yep.